first times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, no wonder he's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Why, oh, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We gather the men first. We're waiting for the guys. Come on, really. Attention, refugees. Please stay calm and remain in your place. So what are we running for? Storage campaign. We've been in the rain all our lives, and now we're free? Ugh, this happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time, it's us. Would be long before Fiora so, has the that's station our plan. To the station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, oh, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There's a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Balfoy. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say, you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They are immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art for thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach but sadly true art is 20 years gone what remains is profane trash and so my own hunger persists will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet i disgust myself here we sit Drinks, party lights, and all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. What? There is a really Is there something new? An older chef is it? Mushroom? He's a little bit Sorry. Keep your head up, Mr. Why? What happened? Vitya didn't make it. How? We were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No yeah, one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. Wow, that's a demon. So scary, just like the a real demon. thing. A demon! Look at it flapping its yeah. wings! It's attacking! No. Dad says it flaps its wings like this when taking off. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon? Well, it's... All right, let it be a demon. But there used to be birds like this. Birds? Are they mean like demons? No. They were beautiful. Some were big, but smaller than demons. Birds didn't attack people. They would wake you in the morning with their songs. 
Don't no. lose your chance. What animal is Give this? yourselves and your loved Could ones the key to happiness. The nose is too big, though. Surge, did your dad tell you about there beasts like that? So many tickets. No. And he was everywhere. Even the, the library. Theater, Even the pride of Russia. The legend of the metro. Ones. Tonight <gasps> only. Is this a bear, Uncle Misha? It's an elephant. You saw them in the Were elephants scary? Could the Nazaluses be what's left of them? So, Nikitish, when do we become mutant father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to save up. Oh well, good leadings. Grenades! It's affordable and serious well, firepower. You did it for it? Indispensable for self-defense. Look, I got money for three days. Wind barrels are great as they are, are but you can add two more and get a veritable hand cannon. The silent bastard silent overheats the hell, but luckily you can fix this with radiator. Buy this, and you'll never have to fear bandits anymore. It's not a beauty contest winner, but it can use military-grade ammo. Well, now you can show them! Incendiary grenades! Guaranteed to keep your enemy warm! are good, eh, despite being handmade. Not a scratch or speck of rust. Guaranteed to hit. Yeah, best stopping power of them all. Simply the best. Now you're just being greedy. Well, the cases ain't new, but these are well made. You can't fit that many in your pack. These will surely make your enemy work up a sweat. You already have too many. Well, good luck. You're always welcome here. Fish, Ammo and fresh gear for fish sale. from Venice. Fish, smoke, shrooms, great fish. shrooms. Can't find leather. Best this is great bread. stuff. Original the design. best you find. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. By who? You, you, who a couple of days ago was seen on the revenge at the platform hiding from his wife? <laughs> hey, you! I just Stop! Show me your tickets! You are an entirely different subject. Did you hear oh, that? Oh, sure. Our 
coming. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. If you'd be so kind. The can can. anything like this before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. When they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kola Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, <laughs> but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! Soon, I promise. Yeah, please do you go. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. Your music. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? 
Artyom? No, Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Oh, yes, yes, it's a hard life without a soft one. More reputable. What's going on? What else? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are. Do our specials from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So. Let's drink it to him! There you are. Phew! Ah! Хорошо прошла. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but... Yeah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the Red Line. That it's awful there, that there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Here it is. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes, yes. Look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, war there, war there is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink. To order, блин. Кого, Артём, кого? Вот он за, вот он за. So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artём. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder, though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, blad! It's just being over-enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Korbin? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Move it! You're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. That's all. Good. 
Good day, Comrade General. Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, or one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade for the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut to the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific <laughs> significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunia must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster. And more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? Oh. Fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> hey, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a th God damn it! You're a All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, 
Just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me. I know. Well, good luck to you! Python, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. For it's every man for himself. But, Gorbut, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the Politburo. Cuts. One of these days. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground to the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counter-offensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Serve it! The red red line! Line! Red line! Line! Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target.